So here's a quick virtual tour of the pass-through house, which is the middle lot of Hemlock Homes. Take a quick flyby to get a feel for it and how it sits on the lots and relative to its neighbors. This house has its outdoor living space oriented to the side as opposed to the rear of the lots because left and right of it are the Peak and the Peak 2.0 who both have rear living spaces. So this creates a little more privacy for all three lots, uh, which is good to have. And if we cut the roof off real quick, you get a feel for the space with bedrooms to the back and an open living space in the middle with a oversized garage up front, large enough for the largest sprinter van that they make and drop down through the roof lights. So you get a sense of the entrance and to take a look inside, we'll just kind of fly through the office window here, which is at the front of the house. See the slat wall there that divides it from the rest of the space, mud room off the garage, the living room and kitchen uh, kind of built in together. There's a large sliding door to the patio, the outdoor living space, dining room across from the kitchen, and skylights over the dining room to let in lots of natural light large windows and then my favorite part of the house is going to be this reading nook at the turn in the stairs it's going to be like right at ground level take a look at the guest bathroom it's a full-size bathroom for the two upstairs bedrooms the bedroom hallway has another skylight to let in natural light in the mornings each bedroom gets its own built-in armoire wardrobe laundry room that's situated back with the bedrooms. Simple master bedroom and master bath. The master bath has a shower and tub wet room combo with a closet off of the bathroom. And it also has its own access to the outdoor living space, which is where this house gets its name, the pass-through house. So living, garage, and master, and kitchen all have access to the outdoor patio space. Uh, there's a good look at the garage and its oversized space and the vaulted ceilings to accommodate, you know, larger vehicles, small RVs, sprinter vans. And we'll take another look out front at how the house plays in with the rest of the development. And that's the pass-through house. Thanks for watching. You can see more about this house and this development as well as our other projects on our website. Thank you.